Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the Super Touching. All right, number six, there is a new dating trend called Car Date Night. The idea is to skip the restaurants and drive to a scenic, romantic spot. Couples can choose to have a car picnic. Oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Listen to their favorite tunes, maybe even play a board game. Uh, If the date is going well, they can fall asleep in their car. And then have a police officer knock on their window two hours later. Uh, But auto experts have a warning for car daters. You don't want police knocking on your windows, waking uh, waking you up for sleeping in a random location. You also don't want to be arrested for trespassing. And drivers may be at risk of becoming distracted. So if you're going to go on a car date, Save the hanky-panky until you're parked. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's good advice, Jen. Well, boy, this is great news for all the guys who don't want to pay for a restaurant. Just take them through the drive-thru, yeah. and now yeah. they know it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Number five, another honor for Travis Kelsey. According to a new survey for Zillow, he's been voted America's most desirable neighbor. This news should come as a surprise to absolutely no one since he is one and half of America's favorite couple. The other half, of course, is Taylor Swift. Kelsey took 12% of the votes. His teammate, Patrick Mahomes, took second place, followed by Ravens receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, People were asked to vote for their favorite football players. Nobody else. Which celebrity would you like to live next door to? Oh, I know you don't know any coming to mind, but... Well, you should know some football players. Oh, sure. It's supposed to be football players. Well, let's not put parameters on this. We can just leave like it up to, to any celebrity. I'd love to live next door to you, Paul. <laughs> uh, I'd like I to live next door to you. I'm going to say Pat. <laughs> Wave at each other from our yeah. backyards yeah, over the fence. Like and borrow? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, never, yeah. never see each other yeah. and you have a mutual yeah. respect for them. <laughs> oh. yeah, it's nice. Yeah. All right, number four, if you're looking to find your inner princess, we've got some incredible dresses. You're looking at dream gowns from the Disney Fairy Tale Weddings Platinum Connection. I'm going to send this to your wife for when your daughters get married. I'm going to send her this link. Um, Paul, the possibilities are endless. Ariel with a ball gown style to a more fitted Pocahontas gown. Here's the thing about this collection. If you find one you like, you've got to call to inquire about it. You can't just order them online. You have to call. Mm. Are they getting married at 8? <laughs> check There's out, no Elsa again. Check out DisneyWeddings.com for more. There might be. This might just be the it. first page. Mm. Yeah, we're fine. All right, number three, all week long, we're looking at super fun uh, Super Bowl snack ideas that we found online. Ooh, what's that? Today's pick, the old ham and cheese pinwheels. Oh. Frankly, any pinwheels. All you do is you take a couple packages of those crescent rolls, you stuff them full of goodness. For ham and cheese, you'll just need some thinly sliced deli ham. And uh, remember, though, they're pinwheels, so you need some cream cheese to keep oh, the pinwheel uh, in love place. The pinwheel. There are lots of recipes online depending on the kind mm. of cheese that you want to use, but don't discount other options like turkey or meatball or bacon jalapeno pinwheels. Uh, they've got the two P's. They're portable, they're poppable, they're easy to carry and pop into your mouth. They're fun. Oh, yeah. look at those, cr- those cooked ones. Mm-mm. Number two, uh, did you know there's a whole market for royal underpants? Really? Oh, come on, don't act surprised. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody. Uh, people are willing to pay a lot of money for underwear worn by famous queens. Sure, yeah. For example, a pair of Queen Victoria's bloomers sold for more than 15 grand. That's a steal. Uh, and someone paid more than 18,000 for a pair of Queen Elizabeth II uh, zombies. Oh, oh my boy. Gosh. <laughs> what an opportunity. Oh. Uh, if you're looking to invest your money somewhere, start there. <laughs> bloomers. <sighs> Royal right. bloomers. Ah. Number one, this is a big debate online right now. You're in the airport, you're mm-hmm. in a long line waiting to check in, and you're behind a woman who isn't moving. The yep. line in front of her continues yeah. to move, but she's just standing there. Uh-huh. People ask her to move up. She won't. Right. She finally says, why should I? I'm staying put until it's my turn, and when it's my turn, I will move up. Does she have a point, or is she the most annoying person on the planet? I don't understand this. I don't really uh, either. Well, they call you up by group, and no. so she's in the middle of the you know, the terminal and, and waiting for her group, and yet people are just all what waiting. group? To get... She's just waiting in line to get to the counter. Oh, to get to the counter? Right, no, no. right? Well, why would you be waiting? No, you, no I think Isn't she was waiting she to get said? on the plane is what she's saying. 
Listen, this is not really that big of a problem. You just walk around her. Yeah. You snooze, you lose. That's what yeah. we always say. I think the bigger takeaway is there are four of us up here and don't know what was said 15 yeah. seconds ago. Yeah, yeah, I was trying well, to pay you're attention. You're in a long line no. waiting to check in, and you're behind a woman who isn't moving. Yeah. To go to the counter. Yeah, do you, so she just won't move up closer That's to the not counter. Clear. Is she trying to is she trying to check in with the with the oh gate gosh. attendant or is she trying to get on the plane? That's right. what I think she's doing. She says she's waiting to be and have oh, they it, called her group? Has her group been called? If her group has not that's been not called, what's that's not what's happening. That's not what's going on. What's, what's, going, what's, on? Going, what's, on? what's on? going on is when you go to check your bag, like in the check-in yes, counter to get your boarding pass and stuff, right. that's what where they, she's standing. Yeah, so if you counter. go around her, you're cutting her. Oh. Yeah. So she needs yeah. to just tap her on the shoulder and say, hey, yes, keep lady, pushing. keep moving. Exactly. Uh -huh. And if she does it, you walk around her. Yeah. Fair Unless warning. she's saying, I'm just, I want a little space. <laughs> I can't. I can't with you guys. It's not a big problem. <laughs> and what if she's like 90? Yeah, see, that's it. Then you get and a little even more the reason yeah. to push her out of the this, way. This yeah. happens, this this happens like on your way back from first commu you know, communion, yeah. too. If there's yeah. someone in the aisle walking real slow, you can't pass them. Yeah, that's that's quite a jump. Yeah. That's and rude. That's, yeah, you right. can't pass someone who's older and right. moving slow. And she's it's 23 respectful. or 24, yeah. you can bypass her. Anyway, yeah, I'm wow. sure the producers had no idea it would take this. Yeah. That's yeah. the dumbest thing I've ever heard. People are in a hurry to get their communion. TikTok, I got a football game at noon. Uh, That's the six at six.